Okay, let's talk a little bit about some features inside of uh, display clients related to AppLink. Now I'm going to open up this calculator uh, display client that uses AppLink. I'm going to double click on it and open it up. And I'm going to step almost all the way through to the very end. And we see here we've got the AppLink uh, application path. Now this is where you're going to actually put in the uh, program path and file name and that would basically, whatever the desired application, you're going to put that in the field. If you need to, you can actually click on the browse button. The browse button allows you to allow you to select the executable file using the file browser. Um, now you want to make sure that the path is correct all all the terminal servers because um, if a terminal server display client contains several terminal servers, the path has to be valid on all of those servers. If it's different on different terminal servers uh, and they have different paths to the desired program, you'll need to probably write something like a batch file in order to be able to open up that program. Um, the next two options that we have here are the command line options and the start in folder and the following folder options uh, that you can put in there. Now these are not required, but the command line option is a field that provides a space for the command lines and switches if you need them. Secondly, the start in the following folder. This field is provided in case you need to specify the working directory for the program when using a relative path for the initial program. Once again, this may not be needed uh, for whatever your application is. For more tips and gems, please visit thinmanager.com.